Good afternoon. Today we're going to be demonstrating and explaining the liftoff or Gerber test. The purpose of the test is to test the integrity of the subscapularis muscle. The maneuver of the test biases the subscapularis muscle against the other internal rotators of the glenohumeral joint. The sensitizing movement is an extension of the shoulder with the dorsum of the hand placed from the lumbar spine in the back. Before doing the test, a contraindication for the test is full passive internal rotation of the glenohumeral joint. We're going to demonstrate on Travis. So Travis, I just want you to relax. Now I'm going to test the passive internal rotation of the glenohumeral joint. The non-involved side is within normal limits, as well as the involved side. Okay, now we're going to have Travis complete the test. So Travis, could you stand up for me, please? You notice that Travis's shirt is off and his, uh, his glenohumeral joint and scapula are exposed. We want to be able to see the motion of these two segments during the test. So let's do the uninvolved side first. For Travis, can you put the back of your hand about the mid lumbar spine area and extend your hand backwards? The ability to complete this test indicates a negative test. Now let's do the involved side. And I'll go ahead and lift your back. One more, do you feel with that? I can't do it. So the inability of Travis to extend the dorsum of the hand from the lumbar spine would indicate a positive test. 